Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese. As always, got some defensive plays for you guys today. Uh, some blitzes and some base defenses that I've been seeing a lot online. I've been running a lot online, and I've been having a lot of success with. Uh, the blitz is something that I came up with, but I started using this formation because I saw it was just everywhere. It seems like one of the meta defensive formations this year, and that formation is the 3-3-5 odd. Now, the play that I seem to be seeing the most is just a regular cover three sky, but I personally don't use that. I started using this formation because because I saw people running that against me and having success, but I'm gonna show you guys a lot of different plays in this uh, formation um, that I think that really create a very strong scheme. If you guys wanna see more defensive plays, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button in the comment section. But for now, let's go and let's get right into the video. Uh, I'm gonna start off with probably my favorite play, a blitz. I know a lot of people out there wanna get some pressure. So I'm gonna go with the Cover 3 Sky Show 4. This is something that works in a lot of different formations, but the way that I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna get instant pressure and I'm gonna get a lot of sacks. Let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side, we're just, or on the offensive side, I should say rather. We're just gonna go with something in a shotgun. Um, I'd like to go random gun, but I'll probably get a lot of pass plays. So let's just go with something that a lot of people use. This something, this something here. Let's go with the level sale, which obviously is one of the uh, more popular formations and plays. We'll, we'll mix it up. We'll just go random uh, trips TE flex. So now as far as this defense goes, like I said, it's cover three. You know, I, I've, I've run a lot of people running cover three. So that was one of the reasons that I decided to uh, kind of mess around with this. But I'd much rather try to create pressure than just run a cover three basic. So all I'm going to do here to try to get some pressures I'm just going to shift my defensive line to the one side then I'm going to slant them to the right as well and then I'm just going to basically I mean this guy here he's out kind of far I want to cheat him in a little bit but I basically want to take one of these players typically I take the the, the one closest to this side but I want to leave that hooker because there's so much action going on over there and I'm just going to basically put him on a blitz and bring him in this gap I'm also going to make sure that I guess pass because I just think that that helps I don't you know make them get after the quarterback they won't bite on play actions and stuff like that and this is pretty much it. I'm going to try to uh, basically shoot this gap and basically hold as much lineman to the side as possible. As you can see right there, it almost looks like a screenplay. And the pressure came right off the edge and forced an incompletion on the very first play. So let's go and let's go to the replay to see what happened because it happened so fast I didn't even really uh, see. But you can see when I do this, the entire offensive line jumps to the side. It's it's I did, I got sucked in, which wasn't really the plan. I had to disengage. But like I said, the whole point is to get this cornerback a free run. Now I also want to make sure I have my fastest guy there. For whatever reason, it typically is, but it's not not right now like online when I play with Mutt I typically have Jalen Ramsey who's my best cornerback running that but for whatever reason he's not so I'll probably switch that out for a speed guy because he seemed to come in a little bit slow a little bit faster he probably would have had that sack but you can see at the end of the day it's a four man five protection blitz if I get disengaged and then we have a guy coming in free so I'm going to do that again. Like I said, sh shift my line to the right, slide them to the right as far as their attack lanes. I typically want this cornerback, I want to bring him in a little bit. I want to cheat him in because he's kind of far out. Um, if I do decide to bring this guy down, which is typically the guy that I like to do, um, I got to make sure I bring this safety over. That's probably the biggest thing is I, I probably want him in the center of the field because if I do, if I decide to bring this guy down, it's going to create problems uh, for the deep safety because he's out of position. But this is typically the guy that I want to use. So let's go and let's do that. Like I said, I have to jump back pretty quickly to get into the throwing lanes or I could just decide to use the other Woo! guy. You can see right there, the pressure comes off the other side this time. So you can see there's a lot of opportunities uh, for pressure as we'll go to the instant replay. Like I said, I typically want this guy over here to get the pressure, but obviously I didn't pull the line that time. So you can see here, this guy on the other side comes in free uh, and he's getting to the rush. Now, once again, I had, to, I had to, I have to engage and get off a little bit quicker, but you can see how easy it is to get pressure on both sides of the field when it comes to this blitz. So we'll go and do that again. I'm going to continue to go with Jerome Baker because I think he's probably the better of the two. Like I said, I just want to sneak this guy in a little bit. I don't want to bring him over too much to the point where he's going to get picked up, but this is pretty much the look. So like I said, I will start over here. I never tried starting over here. Let's do that on this play. Let's see if that happens if I start all the way over here, if I can bring all these guys around. And you see, boom, we get that guy off the edge once again. So maybe I wasn't going over far enough because this is, you know, I, I run the splits. The way that I run the splits, I'll go back to the replay. The way that I run it, I typically start over the center, but it looked like it worked out even better uh, if I stayed over there. I didn't have to engage. You see that time, look how the guard just basically uh, follows me, 71 here. He follows me because he's expecting something. This is ideal, this is perfect. Because if the guard here is blocking nobody and I never got picked up, I never got suctioned in or engaged, this is probably an even better way to run it. So we'll go and we'll do that again. 
I didn't really move that cornerback over. Maybe I should just leave him out there. Like I said, this is a this is a blitz I was I've been running. I've been having success with it. But it's even you know the game's even new to me. It just came out, so I don't even have all the uh, the, the the wrinkles figured out. Now doing all this is not Whoa. going to be great. You can see it there. The guard gets lost in no man's land again. We get an easy sack. Doing all this is not going to be great for against the run. That's the only real downside to this setup, because basically, if you're in a shotgun like this, there's only really one run play you can run. You can run an inside zone, which you know obviously there's a huge gap in front of the guard, uh, and then obviously you could also take it outside. But th this is you know basically this is a, a straight up blitz that you're going to get best results. But you can see here once again, 71 is blocking nobody, mostly because I'm pretending to be a blitzer. Then when I go away, you know there's, he's just he's just nowhere. He's not fast enough to be able to turn around and engage with this cornerback who's just flying in on block. So this is, like I said, this the cover three sky show four is probably my favorite defense. It's similar to the three through five cover three sky that I was seeing a lot online because you're just it's just a better pressure package version of it. So to me, it's like I said, it's an upgrade. So that would be my first play that I put uh, in my adjustments. I typically would take this one out uh, and then I would put, uh, where are we at here? I would put, uh, where, where, I can't even find the play now. There we go. I'd put that in my adjustments. I like the cover two, man. I like to keep that in there. My third play, cover two is okay, but I would say my, my next favorite play would be the LB cross three show two. Now this trick here is an old trick, but it's a good one. It's something I've put out multiple times over multiple years. It works really well in this scheme. All I really want to do is zone all linebackers. That's basically going to give me a ton of mid tier coverage, uh, which is going to work well with this scheme because of the pressure package that it comes with. So if I set it up, I try to make it look like I'm doing the exact same blitz. I, press, I, I you know, push this guy over here. I bring this cornerback in and make it look like he's going to come in off the edge. I can bring this guy down, you know, just the same way, just to make it look like all these things are setting up for the exact same blitz. And then at the end of the day, it's not going to be a blitz at all. So let's just go and let's let the computer run. The computer's probably not going to make the same mistakes that the, the a user would. As you can see, he's just holding the ball, which is essentially you know a good sign that nothing's open. And then taking off with the quarterback, which is once again, a good sign that nothing's really open. Um, this is just a really good defense to run. You have a lot of different options too. You can do things like, you know, because you have three guys in the middle here, you can put these guys in the hard flats. You can put, uh, you know, any any number of, of these positions. If you really think that, you know, he's, he's going to throw to the flat, more as I messed that up we can go double Mabel on both sides we can just basically use her this three rack on our own but like I said there's a lot of different things you can do just make sure you don't you know take the safety over. but there's a lot of different things you can do to create a really good um, you know heavy heavy zone drop everybody back type of defense and basically just take away everything so like I said we're going to do this one more time it really seems like Cam and the Patriots are running the exact same play over and over and you can see once again nothing's open the computer isn't even willing to throw the ball because everything things covered. So then last but not least for this video, I'm going to show you guys what's probably the best run defense and that's the cover for drop. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that on the offensive side. We'll actually kick it up a notch. We'll just go with straight random I form. So I don't know where the ball is going to go. All I'm going to do if I want to bring these guys down into uh, put them in a position to make plays against the run, I'm going to hit Y triangle, then I'm going to hit uh, base align, which is left stick to the right, then I'm going to hit Y triangle, left stick to the left, which is show blitz, then I'm going to do it one more time to base align again so these cornerbacks don't get cooked. So basically everybody's playing down, they're playing tight. Um, I could do things with my linebackers and my defensive line if I want to. Sometimes I'll pinch him if, if, it's, if it's like a, a short situation as he snagged, he, snagged, he hiked the ball, I wasn't ready, but you can see he still didn't get much as it was just a screenplay. Uh, or a swing pass but ultimately this is something where you can set this up really quick like I said I don't want those cornerbacks down too far because if they're down too far a simple you know streak can cook them so they're in a good position and these safeties here they react really really well to the run if you'll, you'll see hopefully they'll, they'll run a couple of uh, run plays and we'll be able to see them in action but ultimately this is pretty much the base setup and then like I said if you want to you could really mess with these uh, adjustments you could I would say bring this guy down would make a lot of sense just bring him to the line give yourself as much uh, you know coverage as possible this would probably be the look this would be something that I would do to try to uh, you know if somebody's running the ball against this formation a lot as we haven't gotten any run plays yet and Cam Newton once again has to throw the ball away because it's a good defense cover four is going to give you a lot of zone own options so let's go and let's do that again they like said here you know this is going to be the look right here i mean i have i have outside containment which is these guys are going to hard flat them if i think it's going to be a run you can see both sides i have a guy who can hold down that edge and these safeties if they ever run the ball you will see these safeties play the run really well in cover four although we're not getting any run plays at all
ball. Cam Newton's not throwing the ball at all. Yeah, look at this. I mean, he's, oh, really? We're going to get a fumble six. We're going to get a fumble six because Cam Newton gave up on the play. So, like I said, there's just coverage wise is great. We might have to force pick a run play because I'm trying to show run defense and I'm not getting any run plays. So, we weren't getting a lot of run plays there. So, I'm going to have to back out and pick one myself. Pick that cover for drop one more time. We're going to go with, uh, we'll go with, uh, you know, just like the most common run play in the world, which is the inside zone. So, we're going to pick that. Like I said, setting this up. We're gonna go base line, show blitz, base line. You have a lot of smaller guys anyway. I typically are gonna bring these guys in. You got a lot of smaller guys on the field, so you really have to make sure that you know you match personnel. I don't want to be overpowered by an I form anyway. So let's go ahead and let's pinch that defensive line, spread those linebackers. And this is pretty much gonna be the look. Now, when it I'm not gonna to cheat to the you know for, since I know it's an inside zone, I could easily slide protection or slide my defense over, which obviously will, will help to shut that down. But I will leave it as is just to kind of you know be fair. I don't want to. I don't want to. I didn't want to do it this way because I don't want to tip my hand that I know where the play is going. But this is pretty much gonna be the run defense. I'm gonna to try to stay out of it. I'm gonna to try to stay in my lane. And now you can see the safeties typically shoot down and fill those gaps. So let's go to the replay because I was waiting for a long time just to show what these safeties do. In cover four, these typically the safeties will play the run first, and you'll see they just basically walk right down to the box. That's what makes this a really good run defense is because they will play down. Cover three safeties won't do that. Cover two safeties won't do that. Cover four safeties will play down. They will fill. And you can see right here, this guy here just basically, he makes the play, stacks it. This guy here probably could have tackled him for a two-yard gain, but he gets past him a little bit and it's still a really good run defense. If you're giving up three yards of carry, which is exactly what that gave up, you're going to have a very good run defense and people are going to give up on it. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that again. I mean, you could always, you know, since, it's, since we know it's an inside zone, we could always uh, just do a shift too, which is something that it's just a run-stopping defensive tip. I mean, that's probably, something that anytime I come out in a uh, and I see a shotgun I typically shift the line because inside zone is really the only option so you can do that and give yourself a little bit of an advantage too and then you can see like I said you're really giving up minimal gains at best so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more defensive uh, scheme videos more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more Link in the description below. Thank you.